thousands around the world on social media have shared the image of the angel of Koban or Ahana, a Kurdish fighter who has become a symbol of resistance against Islamic State. According to the stories, she's slain as many as 100 Islamic State fighters. Only one hitch, she's probably not who people think she is. The world is still watching the town of Koban in northern Syria. Kurdish fighters there, backed by airstrikes from an international coalition, are battling with Islamic State. But it's hard to get images from inside Koban, with access for journalists limited. Against this backdrop, stories are being shared on social media networks of fighters who become internet legends. And none more so than Rahana whose image has come to symbolize the female fighters pitted against the Islamic State whose respects for women's rights are seen as severely limited. Thousands have shared this picture on Twitter and Facebook, with stories of her bravery and the idea that she has killed large numbers of his fighters. But where does the image actually come from? In fact the woman now known as Rahana was photographed at an event in Koban on 22 August, months before her image began trending. She was at a ceremony for volunteers and was wearing a military-style uniform. The Swedish journalist Karl Drott was the only international journalist in Koban at the time and had a short exchange with her before the ceremony. He says she was not a frontline fighter at all, volunteering instead with the Home Guard or police force of Koban. He says it's therefore unlikely she has killed huge numbers of the enemy. She came up to me and said she used to study law in Aleppo but that Islamic State had killed her father so she had decided to join these forces herself, Drott says. I tried to speak to her afterwards but never managed to find her or get her name. The name Rahana seems to have come later and is not a common Kurdish name. The following day, this image was posted on the blog Bijikadistan which supports the Kurdish effort in Koban. It then seems to have gone largely unnoticed until it was shared on Twitter over a month later by an English-language news outlet based in the Kurdish region, Slamani Times. That is when the stories and the mystery around her began building up on social media. On the 5th of October, rumors of her death began to trend. An influential Saudi Twitter user known as Ad Al Faisal underscore Agad posted an image to her 200,000 followers saying that a Kurdish woman has been beheaded by an IS fighter. On the 10th of October, Twitter user Ad Kurdistan underscore Army was among those sharing the image of the beheading beside the photo of the woman who would come to be known as Rahana smiling for the camera. The association had been made. The rumors and speculation continued. Despite the fact that some were claiming she was dead, it was on the 13th of October that others started naming Rahana, still alive in this version. This is also when her story went truly global. It happened through a tweet which was retweeted 5,500 times. Rihanna has killed more than a hundred hash ISIS terrorists in hash Koban, the tweet said. RT and make her famous for her bravery and so the angel of Koban came into existence. The tweet could be seen as pro-Kurdish propaganda but remarkably, it didn't come from a Kurdish account. Instead it was from Indian blogger Pawan Jurani, who describes himself as an activist and links to a site advocating for the rights of Hindus in Kashmir. He has posted many other images of female Kurdish fighters on his Twitter page and he is not alone. Her story has surfaced in the news media too with headline writers stubbing her the angel of Koban. She captivated everyone with her pretty eyes and blonde hair. She has a huge fan base, says the Kurdish blogger Uweda Mustafa. Everyone that I come across admires her because she symbolizes what everyone wants to see. That women and men are standing up against barbaric force in the region.